Welcome guys, today we will be continuing graph theory. So today we will be learning about tree, binary tree and spanning tree. So first let me add the definition of tree. So tree, a connected graph without any circuit. Without any circuit. So let me show what a tree looks like something like this so v1 v2 v3 v4 v5 v6 v7 so this is a tree so a tree we can suppose a tree should have at least one vertex uh, and the tree is, is always a simple graph because a loop or pair will make it a loop or pair of parallelizes will make it a circuit and so this is a tree and a collection of trees are called forest so now we will see what is eccentricity of a vertex in a tree is so in any graph suppose any graph or tree the distance of a vertex from another to another vertex is called the eccentricity of the graph of a vertex so it should be the maximum distance suppose we, if you see from v1 to v2 it is 1 2 2 edges and if you want from v1 to v4 usually 1 2 3 and 4 so this is the maximum or not maximum see if you go from v1 to v7 1 2 3 4 5 so this is the maximum so eccentricity of an vertex that is denoted as e of e of v is the distance from v vertex to the farthest vertex in a graph so mathematically this can it is written as max of vertex to another vertex suppose u and v so this was eccentricity now center of a graph so so the vertex with the least eccentricity is called the center so vertex with least eccentricity so here it is v1 and v2 is the two cent are the two centers v6 and v7 also are the two centers so like this so now we will see what a binary tree is so a tree in which there is there is exactly one vertex of degree 2 and other vertices have degree 1 or 3 degree 1 or 3 is called a binary tree so let me draw a tree so suppose a tree like this So A, B, C, V, D, E. So this is a tree, binary tree. So here we can see, see this has this vertex V is the vertex which has degree two. All the other vertices have degree one or three. So this the vertex with degree two in a binary tree is called the root. Root degree has degree two. So and a binary tree has three or more vertices. So this was binary tree. So now we'll see what a spanning tree or co tree is. So let me write definition. A tree T is called a spanning tree of a connected graph G of a connected graph G if t is a subgraph of g and it con and if t contains all the vertices of g all the vertices of g this is a condition that is included in the definition so this is called what is called a spanning tree 
So suppose this is a graph G. Now so we need to construct the spanning tree. So this is the graph G. So we need to construct a spanning tree out of it. So it should be a subgraph of G and T should contain all the vertices in G. So let me draw the vertices like this. So this is E, this is D, this is F, this is C, this is G, this was G, this was F. So this is what A, this is what B. The order should be remains in the curves and all that. E, D, C, F, B, A. So this is what your spanning tree is. It should be a subgraph and it should contain all the vertices of G. And uh, there is some definition like branch. An edge of a tree is called a branch of the tree. So any edge of tree is called a branch so any edge of a tree is called the branch so now what let us see chord or tie of a tree so let T be the spanning tree and of the G and an edge of G that is not in the chord not in present, not present in T is called the chord. Suppose, see, G edge is not present here, so this is the chord. And so, I will not write the definition, it was just for explanation. And coterie or chord set or tie set. So, it is the complement of the spanning tree in a connected graph of G is called the coterie so it is denoted by T bar so it, it will be just opposite of T so coterie is nothing but just the collection of chords so so the edges that are not present in T should be present in the coterie it's, it's simple and this is important and T union T bar will give G so this was all about trees, binary tree and spanning tree. Thanks for watching it.